Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of Gutenberg block development series. All right, as you can see guys, we already set up our environment development and also we set up our VS code in order to move on to the next part. So I'm pretty happy to announce that we are ready to move on. All right, in this video, we are going to create our first Gutenberg block okay so let's get started and see what should we do okay guys i'm going to share with you guys in the description this link because this is really important if you have time you should read this documentation very carefully because you will find a lot of useful information and yeah we are just going to follow this documentation and see the wordpress guys what said and why we sh and what we are gonna do in order to create a custom gutenberg block so let's see and let's dive in so i'm not gonna explain all of this because you can do it yourself and read it yourself i'm just gonna skip ahead and let's start so uh, we already have our environment development and as you can see here uh, the first step should be switch to working directory so let's do that all right we have a website run and open in local wp environment i'm gonna use navit dev uh, website and i already opened this and let's go to the dashboard so we chose our username and password all right let's see i just want to brag about i was remember let's see one two three four five six please yeah that was just a mistake so I'm gonna zoom a little bit in order to you guys can see pretty well I'm going to open our plugin and as you can see we don't have any plugin yet so I am going to open our folder our website so uh, in here if we are opening app public wp content and plugins as you can see we don't have any plugin so i'm gonna open this pass into the terminal and all right we already have anything we need so let's skip ahead and see the documentation all right in here it says that you can generate plugin files once in the right directory for your environment the next step is to run the following command to generate plugin file so let's get started and see what will happen before doing that if you uh, you should check this node dash version if uh, you can see i already have node version 18 which is not good for uh, gutenberg block development so i should use a node version management in order to use node version 14 and as you can see now i'm an, on node version 14 and i can run this command so let's copy this one and run the command but i just want to say test block and this should take a couple of minutes so i will stop the video and i will see you when it's done all right as you can see we are done with the command and let's skip ahead and see okay i'm going to open this like this all right i will type code and test dash block if you already have vs code this should work 
but if it doesn't work never mind you can close this one and go back here into the plugins and just drag and drop the folder here that's pretty much easy and yes I trust this folder and yeah as you can see I already have this plugin so let's be, before we are going to check these files let's see what's going on in our backend I'm gonna refresh this and yeah we already have a plugin named test block and in here we have a description by WordPress contributors and I'm going to activate this plugin okay so let's go to the posts and let's go to hello world post and let's check what we have in here uh, I guess sh we can check with we can search with test block as you can see this is our test block and if I click here this block will show up and if I yeah if I open this uh, setting area you can see this is a test block this is a description and I if I update this post so let's see and congratulations you already create your first Gutenberg block it's not ideal it's not custom but this is something right so we will continue this on into the next video so I will see you there